Vinod, tell me what a pronoun is. Sure, Grandpa. A pronoun is a word used in place of a noun. That is good. Could any one of you explain personal pronouns? Yes, Grandpa. Personal pronouns are used to refer to the speaker, the listener and the person spoken about. Look at these sentences. I am a girl. You are a man and he is a boy. Here the words I, you and he are personal pronouns. Children, what about possessive pronouns? The possessive pronouns show that something belongs to somebody. There are three kinds of possessive pronouns. The first one is the pronoun referring to the first person. Example, this pen is mine. Here, mine is the possessive pronoun referring to the first person. The second kind refers to the second person. Example, this is not your pen. Here, the word your is the possessive pronoun referring to the second person. And the third kind refers to the third person. Look at the example. The boy is with his sister. Their dog is with them. Here, the words his and their are possessive pronouns referring to the third persons. Grandpa, let me tell about reflexive pronouns. The reflexive pronouns are used to emphasize nouns. Look at this example. The boy sees himself in the mirror. Here the word himself is the reflexive pronoun which emphasizes the noun the boy. Let me explain the demonstrative pronouns. The demonstrative pronouns are used to point out persons or things. They are this, these, that and those. Here are examples. This is a cow. These are cattle. That big bird is red in color. Those birds are flying towards north. Grandpa, what are interrogative pronouns? Interrogative pronouns are used in framing questions. They are what, which, who, whom and whose. Here are the examples for interrogative pronoun. What is the cost of this yellow camel? Which is the better of these two? Whose camels are these? Who has brought them here? Whom to enquire about the prices? Okay, can any one of you explain relative pronouns with examples? Sure, Grandpa. The pronouns which act as a pronoun and as a conjunction at the same time are called relative pronouns. Look at this example. This is the location which I like very much. Here, the word which acts as a pronoun and also as a conjunction. Grandpa, I know about the pronouns of quantity which refer to amount or numbers. For example, look at the following sentences. You can see few horses here. To be exact, there are four horses. Here the words few and four refer to the amount and number. Hence, they are pronouns of quantity. Grandpa, what are determiners? Determiners are the words that determine or limit the nouns that follow. They include the following. Number one, articles. A, an and the are articles about which we will discuss later. Number two, demonstrative adjectives. This, that, these and those are demonstrative adjectives. Look at this example. This blue bird is smaller than that red bird. 
these two are flying towards north to join those grey birds. Determiners include possessive adjectives as well. My, your, are, his, her, its and their are possessive adjectives. In this example, the underlined ones are possessive adjectives. This girl Ramya is my cousin. The boy on your left is her friend. His dog is behind him. Its mouth is wide. The children are waiting for their teacher who is our neighbor. The fourth type of determiners is adjectives of quantity. All, both, some, much, many, few, each, every, third, etc. are adjectives of quantity. Look at these sentences. Here are some cows. The third one is brown in color. All cows are having horns. Both horns of every cow are very sharp. Note here the adjectives of quantity are underlined. Now we will see articles in detail. As I have already said, a, an and the are the articles. Tell me, when should the articles be used? The article A is used before words beginning with consonant sound and the article AN is used before words beginning with vowel sound. That is fine. Keep it in mind that both A and AN are indefinite articles. They do not refer to any particular thing, place or person. Example, a boy is looking at an aeroplane. Here the articles A and AN does not refer to any particular boy or aeroplane. Well, who is going to tell about the article THE? It is me, Grandpa. The article THE is called definite article because it refers to a particular thing, place or person. It indicates the one which the speaker and the listener know about. For example, look at this sentence. Give me the pen. Here, the speaker and the listener know which pen is talked about. And also, the article the indicates something which is only one of its kind. Example, the sun is very hot. Are there any other occasions the article the should be used? The article the is also used before superlatives. Example, the elephant is the biggest land living animal. When a noun represents a whole class, the is used as well. Example, the tiger is a carnivorous animal. Remember children, it is not a must that all nouns proceed with an article. Look at the sentence as an example. He knows English. Since English is a language, it is not preceded by any article. Such position is called zero article. 